And here we go, into turn number one. Ryan Norberg's got the field at uh, the helm, and he's taking him in, and we got one turn through the grass, midway through the pack there, trying to get back going. I think that might have been Tyler McIntyre, but I'm not 100% sure as they go down to turn number four. Norberg leads over Jack Jeffers, Austin Garrison, Cameron Weinberg, four driver break, little gap back to the fifth position, which looks to be Hayden Jones as they go through turns five and six, Caleb. Yeah, Norberg typically has his car set up to come in later into the race, so if you're running in that second, third, fourth spot, you gotta try to make your move quickly to get around him and try to hold him at bay as the rest of the field is trying to get a little antsy coming out of turn number eight. Well, just like uh, Cameron Weinberg said and Austin Garrison said, they're gonna race each other hard and clean. No full team orders of having to wait behind. Austin Garrison with a nice move on Jack Jeffers. Takes over the second spot. Norberg leads by three car lengths here at the end of the first lap, but still very early in this 24 lap main. A lot of dust being kicked up here this lap. That's gonna be sketchy the next time these guys come in, both to turn number four and turn number eight. You can see the dust clouds behind the drivers there. That's from midway through the pack as they were all shuffling amongst themselves. So Norberg is gonna be the first one to hit it when they get to the end of the back straightaway here as he leads lap number two. Up the hill, through to three. Let's see if any of those carts get a little bit sideways under break. And you can kind of see some of the marbles put out. Look at them going way down to the middle of the racetrack. Weinberg went wide into the brakes, and everyone else kind of skating it. I mean, you can feel that get onto your tires half the time. It takes half a lap to clean the tires back off. Nonetheless, Norberg hanging on. Here we go to the hairpin. Do they see the dirt there as well? He took a look back through the dirt. Looks like they were both able to get it through fine, but there was dirt coming out of the rear tires, Caleb. So three driver breakaway. And Austin Garrison going to do a little wave by there to Cameron Weinberg. You see that, Brandon? Yeah, that's very interesting. Uh... Yeah, I think the best opportunity right now for Weinberg and Garrison is to run nose to tail and just sit back and wait. I think that's probably something that they talked about before the race even started. Although Ryan Norberg, Mr. Consistent, doesn't make any mistakes. So it's going to be all down to toe and setup of Weinberg to see if he can try to get a slipstream. Last time by, he was about a tenth or two faster. Norberg just went a 48-2, and it looks like Weinberg went a 48-3. So Norberg right now is about a tenth faster than second placement of Cameron Weinberg. And look at that gaggle behind them for fourth. I mean, they are going at it here to turn number four. About oh. to have some contact. Noah Baker getting into the side of Paulie Massimino, and they both go wide. And Paul Bocuse gets in the middle of them. Got Paul Bocus now up into the seventh spot, able to capitalize a couple of positions, bringing that Rollins' Purpose Group carpets are coming down into turn number eight, and they are still bunched up. I think this right here is why Austin Garrison let Weinberg go by. He says, all right, we're both fast. Let's stay out of a situation like this because that's almost a guaranteed win for Ryan Norberg when he's out up front by himself. I don't see a whole lot of catching up anytime soon unless Ryan makes a huge mistake, which is very uncommon for him. Yeah, I mean, Garrison's come in here. He's matching the pace of Cameron Weinberg, both of them identical as we see Nate Cicero going back around Hayden Jones, the RPG teammates running fourth and fifth on the racetrack. And Paulie Massimino's gotten back to the front of this group with Dalton Haynes in tow. And they're continuing to fight. There's Jack Jeffers, he's just trying to play catch up. He got bullied early on in the first couple laps. And while the pace maybe hasn't been fantastic for Jeffers, I don't think it's been much worse than anyone else. But that's just a factor of this class and something that happens to a lot of newer drivers and younger drivers. And just that little bit of time makes a big difference. Right, I mean, even again, like, uh, you know, warm up. Oh, we got problems for Paul Bocuse. Paul Bocuse over in turn number three is out. And uh, we just switched off it there, but Paul Bocuse, don't know what was the issue for him. He was running in this group right here. He's really good at the, the over-under moves, especially going into turn three, and he really surprised people. Well, here's one regular pass made by Dalton Haynes. Now Paulie's gonna get up to the back bumper of Cicero, splitting up the RPG Cosmics. Not gonna go into the bowl. As they come down the front stretch, it's three laps remaining. Here he comes. One lap later, same move. Dalton Haynes to fourth. Gets by Hayden Jones. And there goes Paulie with a nice move in turn three to caught Cicero off guard. Cicero's off the racetrack and bouncing through the dirt there in turn three. And to Contagia, what in the world was that from Diego Contagia? He just sent it down the inside in turn four. Yeah, Paulie was blocking to the bottom, but Diego went farther than he did. Pushed them both up the track, and it looks like Justin got underneath both of them for a two for one. Yeah, heck of a move there by Atticonis. Here's Hayden Jones back on Dalton Haynes. He knows there's not a lot of time left, so now he'll try and fight back by. And Haynes, nice little move there into nine. Shot it down the inside, didn't overshoot it. And they'll take up the short shoot here now. 
Justin Atticonis in contention for a second consecutive uh, run of the top six. Yeah, let's see what he got here on the last few laps. We see him run to the bottom in turn one. See if he can do a crossover move, move here into turn three. See Hayden looking, looking. Nah, nope, not going to get it. Now Paulie Massimino trying to get it, catch Atticonis off guard. Couldn't do it. Atticonis covers off the bottom side into the bowl. Single file that turns five and six for this group here. Fighting for fourth on back. Could be higher if anything changes with penalties or in post-race tech inspection. Third on the racetrack currently Austin Garrison. Second Cameron Weinberg and your leaders Ryan Norberg here coming to see the white flag this time. Dalton Haynes commanding this midfield group as they go for nine. Yeah, I think uh, Anna Conez has got a good opportunity here to pick up one more spot on Jones coming down to the white flag. They're all bunched up into turn one. Look for Dalton to defend the inside. I don't know if that's going to be a pass on the, there you go, Dalton to the inside. Let's see if Jones tries to roll it too. He's gonna go down low. Everyone's gonna stay down low. Out of turn three, I think that may be the prime opportunity to make a move going into four, but everyone's gonna be sucking to the inside. Oh, Atticonis blocked in three. You gotta get crossed over. You talk about crossovers there, Brandon. Paulie almost got it. Atticonis sending it around the outside. Haynes got moved up. Now he's gonna be in a decent spot. They're two by two to five. Who's gonna get through? Jones gets the worst of it, and Jeffers sends it in there all three wide, and Jones knocked way wide to the edge of the group. Now it's Haynes down to the bottom. Meanwhile, up front, while they battle here, Ryan Norberg is gonna come across to take the checkered flag. He'll win four for four on the season so far. Cameron Weinberg second, Austin Garrison third. Here's that fight for fourth at the line. Dalton Haynes will hang on. Justin Atticonis to fifth. Massimino sixth, Jeffers seventh. On the final lap, Hayden Jones shuffled all the way down to ninth. 